Hi everybody, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements. We have a short movie in our timeline here. It's only four minutes long, but it doesn't matter if it's four minutes or 40 minutes. It will serve our purposes here for this demonstration. Quite often you've got a longer movie, but you only want to share a portion of it, or you only want to export a portion of it, or you just want to grab a segment of it and output that short segment. How do you do that in Premiere Elements? Well, the key to it all is a feature called the work area bar. Now the work area bar runs along the top of the timeline, along the ticker. And in fact, if you look for it, you can see it. It's the lighter colored area here along the top of the timeline. It has a marker at each end. You can see on the right hand and on the left hand. And by default, it grows and shrinks automatically as you build your movie. So you notice that it's the same length as my movie. If I were to add clips or remove clips from my movie, that work area bar would shrink or grow so that it continues to cover the entire movie. That's the default setting, but you can manually set it also. And that's what we're going to do to identify or to specify the segment that we want to output. Say the segment we want to output starts about right here at about the two minute mark and then ends just about, I don't know, 40 seconds later here at the two minute 40 second mark. Defining it was as simple as moving those little end markers. And once we've defined with our work area bar the part we want to output, we simply go to export and share in the upper right hand corner. And select one of the export and share options. I'm going under devices computer and I'm going to output it as a high def movie. You notice that right underneath the quality lever, there is a checkbox that says share work area bar only. If we select that, then the only portion of the movie that's going to be output is the segment that we have defined with our work area bar. That's really it. You name it, you output it, and you're good to go. Now, one challenge here with the work area bar is that once you manually set it, it no longer functions automatically. So if I were to add or remove segments from my movie now, the work area bar is not going to lock to it. To automatically snap the work area bar to the length of your movie, all you need to do is make sure your entire movie is visible. In other words, if it were zoomed in like this, all you need to do is press the backslash key. That's the uh, key right above the enter key or return key on your keyboard. So that your entire movie is visible on your timeline. Then go up here to the ticker along the top of the timeline and give it a double click. There it goes. Now your work area bar has reset manually to the length of your movie. Now the work area bar has a couple of functions here in Premiere Elements, but that's the primary function to define a segment that you want to output from a longer movie. Now, if you want to know more tips and tricks like this, be sure and stop by moviepix.com. We've got lots of great tutorials for you there. If you want to know everything and every trick in the program, you want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti, the author, and I hope to see you again real soon.